All he has done for me, I will praise the Lord. All he has done for me, I will praise the Lord. All he has done for me, I will praise the Lord. All he has done for me, I will praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord. Yes, we are the Kola. San you, Senor. Yes, we are the Kola. San you, Senor. Yes, we are the Kola. E Kalibe, hallelujah. Yes, we are the Kola. I am a Chibi. Yes, we are the Chao. I am a Chibi. Yes, we are the Chao. I am a Chibi. Yes, we are the Chao.
vocal. Hey, ah, hey, Sounds that take you into trances. Show up a Lord, show up a Jesus in big style, in big style. We love you, Abba. We love you, Jesus. We love your spirit. Say the spirit of the living God. There is more. There is more to come. If you just continue with a heart of love, when you stay connected to me, when you stay longing for me, when you stay panting for me, I will give you more. 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 Yeah. As the deer panted for the water, so my soul. like he's not here.
big sheaves of wheat eh, mm. all over this auditorium. Eh? So there is going to be a lot of harvest eh? for Receive you who have come harvest, here. Lord. Amen. Jesus. Watch out your life. I'm, you, I'm telling Jesus. you. I've been seeing this one vision. Eh? Wheat. You've seen wheat. Eh? Good. Amen. It's been here all over. Angels wow. have been here. And Hallelujah. for you, there is something financial eh, that is going to open Amen. for you. So Hallelujah. I want you to position yourself and come out of this service knowing eh, that there is yeah. something financial. Yes. But don't just clap. Yeah? Connect to it. Receive it by faith. Say, I receive Amen. a harvest. I receive the harvest. In the Say, I receive Jesus. a harvest. I receive the harvest. Say, Father, Father, I walk out, I walk out with the harvest glory. With the harvest in the glory. name of Jesus. In the name, in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. I saw two cows. Eh? One of you in this meeting, there is a blessing that shall come to you that is connected to cows. Eh? Okay. So two cows that have milk. Eh? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen. One of you in this meeting. I Amen. hope I've not given the word early because someone <laughs> might come late. <laughs> yeah. But I saw two cows. Eh? Amen. Amen. So are you excited about tonight? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I want to introduce to you one of my very own, a son of mine that I dearly love. Join your hands, Woo! stand up, oh, yes. give a Holy Ghost oh, yes. warm welcome Aragado, to an apostle of God. Sulaiman Jigo. Celebrate. Celebrate. Amen. Hallelujah. Give a mighty hand clap to the Most High God. Amen. And one thing I know, wherever people gather or come in the presence of God, mm. their lives, their spirits, and their souls are rejuvenated. Amen. Yes. When you take a car to the garage, you don't expect the car to go back the same. Amen. This is what I mean. I don't expect anybody to come in the presence of God and go back tired. Trust. It is impossible. Amen. That thing never happens to me. Mm. I can't come in the presence of God and go back when I'm tired. It is impossible. Mm. There is a saying, or there is a statement I made. <laughs> it was like a joke. That uh, I came to gain fitness and I'm going back and fit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is what happened. Eh? I went, we went to do some exercise. Eh? But all of the sudden I went to uh, we were doing we are doing football, whatever in soccer. And now <laughs> <laughs> during the process they injured me. <laughs> and this was my reply. I told them, ah, but you people, I came to become fit. Now I'm going back and fit. I don't want that thing. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. So, tonight, mm. you're not going to go back and fit. Amen. Something is going to happen in your Hallelujah. spirit. Hallelujah. The energy of God mm. is going to be infused in your life. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Uh, there is one thing about God that I would like to reveal to you today. It is so important. Amen. In these days that we are in, your connection with God is ought to be very genuine mm -hmm. because of the things that will try you over the years. Mm -hmm. Things that will come and try you and try your faith. Mm. So, your connection and your foundation and your roots they are supposed to be so genuine, too genuine. Mm -hmm. Because this is what happened. Some of, some like three months, four months ago, four months ago, before I got to what brought me today. Let me first tell you this testimony. Something happened to me, and I couldn't explain what could be the meaning of it all. Uh, 
I narrated the story to my brother. He's at the back there. I told him, I can't explain mm. why I don't have gravity. It's a weird statement. Eh? <laughs> I was walking, but I was feeling like I'm falling this side, falling this side, I'm falling this side, I'm falling the other side. So I was just gathering myself using my mind. Mm. But I couldn't even sit on the border border. But all the way, the way it started, it started like a vision. I just saw a small vision. Uh, during the morning hours, I saw a small vision. I saw a tree that was cut. And now when this tree was cut, at the end or at the beginning of the branches, I saw an altar established. And on the established altar, I saw there a dog that was cut into four pieces. Like this, the transverse section and the, the longitudinal, the transverse section. The dog was placed on the altar. I, I, I was like, oh, maybe this is just a vision. I don't understand it. I bashed it. Now something, I started experiencing something in my body. I couldn't explain what could be the meaning of this. I, all of a sudden, I can't stand, I can't walk. He saw me, my brother, he saw me. Food fell from my hands down. There's a span of food. I was like, ah. I, I say to myself, I've fought battles, but now this one, I don't understand it. I can't explain what could be the trigger of all of this. All of a sudden, I came, I, told, uh, I narrated the, uh, the story to Papa. He prayed for me. He told me, God is going to give you to increase your lungs in the spirit so that you can manage to deal with such stuff. He prayed for me. I went back. Now, on the way, as I was going somewhere, in my spirit, I just picked a scripture in my spirit that says, he upholds all things by the word of his power. There is a way I understood the scripture that he upholds all things by the word of his power. So I said, I don't care what has happened in the spirit. But because of the power of this scripture that I have received, that, that I have conceived and perceived in my spirit, nothing can happen to me. I just moved all over, just clapping my hands, clapping my hand, meditating on the very scripture. All of a sudden, the thing disappeared for good. For good. Now, to, tonight, why do I give you these small, small testimonies? I just want to invite you to a place where your connection with God is genuine. You are not in the journey where you're just trying, trying the things of God. Let me try God. Because there are things that will come to test the things that you've confessed over years. And it will require a genuine connection with God to overcome. Tonight I'm going to speak about something that God placed in my heart. And at the end of it, many people are going to be delivered. Many souls are going to be placed in a place of liberty. And uh, your life will see a mighty turn around because all that we labor for in this place, we don't just want to preach, but always we want to produce results. Results, results, not just a message. So at the end of this message, there are certain shifts that are going to happen in your life. All I require from you is to give me your utmost attention and follow me closely in Jesus' mighty name. I'm going to speak about something called the seed of a woman. Amen. If you want to take notes, it is called the seed of what? The seed of a woman. Uh, you may give me Genesis, Genesis 3, verse 15. He says, And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cast above all cattle, above every beast of the field, upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat 
all the days of thy life. 15. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. He shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise thy heel. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to deal with something that is so critical. But at the end of this service, you will see results. Amen. You will see results. Amen. I assure you, you will see results. The Bible says, And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. He shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. You all know the story. This was a curse pronounced after the fall of Adam. A curse pronounced on the land, on Eve, and everything. Now, before I go any further, I want to first give you some little light about what I'm about to say. Yes. All, if you were to make research, or if you were to Seek for wisdom. You will understand this. There is something about the woman mm. that looks like the earth. Mm. There is something about the woman that resembles the earth. Oh, yes. Mm. The way the woman treats you, the way the earth will treat you. Mm. Can I repeat? Mm. The way the woman will treat you in this world, mm. it is the same way the earth will treat you. Mm. There are some small, small sayings that people say that Mother Earth, Mother Earth. Eh? They always you know, attach it to the feminine thing. Eh? Mm. The Bible says, And the seed, and the seed of the woman shall bruise thy head. Now, as I was meditating upon these scriptures, something happened to me in the spirit. Mm. All of the sudden, I was meditating. It took me some hours meditating upon the scriptures. All of the sudden, I was taken the spirit. And I started interacting with the same lady on whom the very words was told. We are told. And I started interacting with Eve. Mm. She told me something. That is, I've never seen. She told me something that wasn't in my mind before or in my spirit. There is a certain light that came into my spirit that I never grasped before. So as I was meditating, all of a sudden, I was caught up and I started talking, conversing with this lady, Eve. To whom? The very words we are told. She told me something. She told me, pay close attention to the words that we are said. Mm. I was like, okay. Show me. The Bible says, you may give it to me again. The Bible says, and the seed of the woman shall bruise thy head. And the seed of the woman shall bruise thy head. And she told me, Bring the difference between the seed and the fruit. There is a difference, a big difference between the seed and the fruit. The Bible has not said that the fruit, I will put an enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed, and shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. She told me, as I was interacting with the life in the scriptures, told me, pay close attention to the word the seed. Yes. You discover that this whole thing was not only said to my fruit. The Bible did not say, and the fruit of the woman. The difference between the seed and the fruit. Mm. A fruit is only and only formed when a seed is fertilized. Mm. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm not going to take it far. There is something small I want to bring out. She told me, 
and the seed of thy of the woman shall bruise thy head. Okay. Then a couple of months before, mm -hmm. I had encountered certain things mm -hmm. before. One day I was sloping down to a place where I meditate from, and I found there a certain guy enchanting, doing his witchcraft. A guy. Mm -hmm. I was like, but this is my place. This is where I meditate. This is where I call upon God from. How comes somebody else has taken over? Mm -hmm. This is impossible. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay. Let me go and I preach to him. He was busy enchanting, doing his things. Let me go and preach to him. I went and I preached to him. I first gave him a certain video of a certain man of God to watch. And he was like, ah, these are, all, all these things are fake. Me, something appeared to me in the spirit and called me to worship these gods. So something came in my spirit all of that moment when I was chatting with him. Something came to me and I told him, your wife is a Christian, is born again. You, you are not born again and you are on the verge of separating. And the reason why you're separating, the reason why you're separating is simply because she got a miscarriage. And the guy said, eh? let me call her because I've seen the thing also. I've seen the thing also in the morning. Let me call her. So the, the guy went and called. It was a, like a few meters away from their home. The guy went and called his wife and she came. And I told her, lady, you have just got a miscarriage in the morning. She says, yes. And I turned to the other guy. And I, God told me, tell him that he's chasing away his wife because of a miscarriage. Mm. But tell him what caused the miscarriage mm. was going to take his head. Hey. Mm. Mm. His life was saved. There are seasonal witchcraft that have been running through his bloodline. And at this particular moment, his head was about to be cut off. But because of the encounter he got with this, with this born again woman, mm. something that was supposed to happen on his head happened and caused the miscarriage to, of the woman. I was like, okay. I picked something. You know, there are certain things there are certain things that happen in the spirit. Or there are certain things when they are sent or when they are done in the spirit, they require blood. The Bible says that there is no remission of sins mm. without shedding of blood. Mm. There are certain things for them to go, for them to be cut out, mm. for them to be dealt with. There must be a certain form of shedding of blood. Mm. Mm. And then, let me go back. And then this woman told me that, do you know that the daddy's curse was pronounced that the seed of the woman shall bruise thy head? Satan had that. And that is the day that he started to have a menstrual cycle. Wow. The so called menstrual cycle. Mm. Satan had this statement. When Satan had this statement that the seed of the woman mm. shall bruise thy head and thou shalt bruise his heel, he was very attentive. Mm. And he was in class that day <laughs> when the curse was pronounced. Mm. was like, okay, now let me start to go after this thing called the seed of a woman. Mm. So periodically, 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 periodically. Seasonal. Mm. It happens and happens and happens and happens and happens and happens. When I was in this conversation with this woman, Eve, eh, in the spirit, she told me that before this curse was pronounced, I never 
entered Oestra's cycle. Oestra started in my life after the fall and after the pronouncement of this curse. So when Satan heard these words that were said, he started looking for the seeds, seeds of the woman. Let me give you another example of something that happened in the spirit. This, he, this one, this, this gentleman. One day, can I use you as an example? <laughs> Have you allowed me? <laughs> one day, they chased a sister of her from school. So I prayed for her to go back. Even the way the thing started, the whole scenario started, it was funny. Mushi, the school keys, now she should be chased away from school and go. So I prayed for her to go back to school. And they chased her again. Then I came and I prayed for her again. I command that, that everybody who is responsible for your case to receive you. And they chased her again. When they chased her again, and the Holy Spirit asked me to listen to him. I listened to me and understand why everything has happened. And the Holy Spirit told me, when they chased her from school, when they chased her from school, something was supposed to happen at their home. Mm. Because of an occultic ritual was, that was done, Something was supposed to happen in their family. Mm. But this particular one, this particular girl, I called her with a certain anointing, mm. which has not yet manifested, manifested in real time, but I called her with a particular anointing that her seed and everything that will come out of her shall bruise the head of the serpent. So the, the moment she came back home, mm. I asked her, this came to me prophetically, and asked her, God told me you came back home to have a western cycle. It's the reason why you came back home. She said, the moment I came, drops started coming. Wow. And because of that manifestation, a certain ritual in the spirit that was supposed to kill or destroy a particular individual in the family mm. was dealt with. Mm. There are things that happen in the spirit Come. that are beyond Better. our understanding. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Lord Thank you, she. Jesus. Wow. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. All of these years, you know, in the Bible, there are things that happen. That there are things that used to happen before. Before the coming of Jesus Christ. Yes. Mm. There are things that were typologies mm. representing Jesus. Mm. For example, when Jesus healed a certain man who was blind and sent the guy to go and watch his eyes in the zero worm, the meaning of the word zero worm there means the saint worm. The saint one. Mm. So this pool represented Jesus. Mm. So when Jesus came, he took his position. Amen. And now, all of these things that were happening, the healings that were happening, they were pointing, they were shadows. Of, they were shadows of the exact thing which is to come in the mm. future. Let me get one lady, one lady who can volunteer. One. Back in the Old Testament, when they could go in their oestras, they were not allowed to come in the tabernacle. They were considered unclean. Mm. Mm. The Old Testament. They were not allowed. Mm. So they could go in the process of cleansing for over seven days. Yes. Listen to me. You can go. That's what all I wanted. Jesus. 
the day he was bruised mm. Mm. on the cross mm. yes and blood blood started coming out of him yes mm. that is the day he shouted that my father my father mm. why have you forsaken me yes at that particular moment of him being bruised on the cross because in him he had absorbed in the sins of the world into his body so he is at the cross being bruised for the sins of the world to be taken away so at that particular moment he's saying a statement my father my father why have you forsaken at that particular moment he was detached from the father he was considered to be unclean at that particular moment because mm. in his body mm. he has already absorbed in the sins of the world mm. he came as a pure man mm. but he absorbed in the sins of the world so that he can go and be bruised something happened in the spirit This same Jesus who came out of the womb of the woman mm. remember I told you in the beginning that there is something about the woman that resembles the earth yes. mm. this earth mm. Genesis 5 2 male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam and called their name Adam in the day when they were created verse 3 and Adam lived 130 years and begat sons in his own likeness and after his image and called his name Seth. 1 Corinthians 15, 4 to 5. And so it is written, the first man Adam was made a living soul and the last Adam was made a quickening spirit. 4 to 6. How be that how be it that was not first which is spiritual, but that which is natural, and afterward that which is spiritual. Praise the living God. Amen. There's something that I want to reveal to you. When God created man, and placed him in the Garden of Eden, Man was given stewardship so that he may be, he may be a steward mm. and, and, and exercise dominion over the garden. Amen. Jeremiah 22, verse 29. Okay, let's read. O earth, 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 three times. Mm. Hear the word of the Lord. Mm. Let's continue. Thus says the Lord, Right ye this man childless, a man that shall not prosper in his days, for no man of his seed shall prosper, sitting upon the throne of David and ruling any more in Judah. This was a commandment given to the earth to write a certain man childless, A law established in a spirit whereby it is not a woman cursing. It is power is given to the earth to write, to declare a certain guy childless and fruitful, not and fruitless. So there is a connection between a woman. And a man. No, no, no. A woman and the earth. And the earth. Mm. Mm. I said earlier that the way the woman treats you in this world, I mean your mother or your wife, is the same way the earth will respond to you. Let me give you an example. How, how do they look alike? How do they resemble? It is only a woman 
who is able to conceive. Okay? Yes. So who, ladies are able, we are given power to conceive seeds. The same way the earth was given power to conceive. So you go back tomorrow when it has rained and cast your seeds in the ground. Mm. The very act done by a man to plant a seed in a woman. Mm. Mm. So the woman is resembling the earth. Yes, ground. Praise the living God. Yes. Amen. Now what happened? Mm. The Bible says, and God called out man from the ground. Yes. The first man, Adam. Yes. So he called him from what? The from ground. the ground. Mm. So this time, the first man was called out from the womb of the ground, not the womb of a woman. Mm. Praise the living God. Amen. So I'm showing you something that um, uh, the earth has a resembling mm. of a woman. Mm. So Adam was called out from the womb of the ground. Mm. Now Jesus, who is the second Adam, mm. came through the womb of a woman. A woman. Mm. But this time around, Jesus, what he did, he not only came out of the womb of the woman, mm. but went back to the footsteps of the fallen Adam and he visited the womb of the earth. Hallelujah. Because he went and slept there three days God. after crucifixion. So he revisited the womb of the earth. Yes. He wanted to deal with certain curses mm. that we are placed upon this realm called Amen. the earth. Amen. Praise the living God. Amen. The Bible says, through which he went and preached to the spirits in the yes. prison. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. After him dealing, remember, when the curse was pronounced, the Bible says, cast be the ground for your sake. Oh, yes. God cast the ground. Oh, yes. So yes. now he who came from the womb of the woman, the womb of Mary, went back to deliver that which was cursed because of the fall of the first Adam who came out of the womb of the ground, the womb of the earth. Mm, mm, the Bible mm. says three days he spent there in the womb and mm. preached the spirit in the prison. Yes. There are a lot of activities that happen yes. in the spirit. Thank you, Lord. There are a lot of activities that happen when people are in the womb. Mm. The activities that you're doing, people do there. There are a lot, a lot of stuff that <laughs> happens. Praise the living God. <laughs> One day, Papa narrated to us a certain story of a prophet called, is it? Bobby Connor. Hey, yes, Bobby Connor. Eh? Mm. Bobby Connor. <laughs> His mother wanted to kill herself. And the guy, a younger baby, a baby, a seed in the bed, turned the other side. After growing up, this child reminded her mother, but you, you wanted to kill yourself, but I saw the knife and I turned the other side. Praise the living God. Amen. <laughs> so when I say, there are a lot of things and activities that happen Amen. in the spirit realm. Mm. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. But tonight, this is my major emphasis. Mm. There are things that have been happening over the years, over decades, over generations mm. that the Lord wants to deal with this night. Amen. 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 Thank you, listen, Jesus. Listen. Mm. Have you... There are questions that people don't ask. Have you ever identified why some of you ladies in some seasons, some seasons, eh? not always, some seasons, why the days you enter always to us changes When I prayed for, 
for her sister, she told me, this is not always the days are going to always trust. It is something that just happened. Now, over the years, over the years, there is a system of cleansing mm. that has been happening over the years. But there is a woman that discovered a higher law beyond that, bigger than that. That is the woman with the issue of blood. Mm. Mm. The Bible says she was breeding for over 12 years. But in her spirit, she discovered that the thing is, that is happening to me, the cycle that is happening to me, the series that I'm going through, there is a higher law in the spirit. And this law is look, locked in this man called Jesus. Because he is the true seed of the woman, which is supposed to bruise the head of the serpent. The Bible says, and he said, if I can only touch, but he's him. Give me Matthew 9, verse 20. And behold, a woman which was deceased with an issue of blood, blood 12 years, came behind him and touched the hem of his garment. Mm. Let's continue. For she said within herself yes. that if I may but touch his garment, I shall be Amen. whole. Amen. Let's continue. But Jesus turned him about and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith has made thee whole. Amen. And the woman was made whole from that very hour. I believe it is another account mm. in another book that says, Jesus said, I felt virtue. Mm. Virtue living me. Yes. Mm. Praise yes. the living God. Amen. Mm. Amen. This particular type of a plague, Jesus has been dealing with a lot of plagues. A lot. There are many miracles Jesus did. He cleansed the lepers. He raised the dead. He did everything. But this particular one, what is it about this particular plague that for it, even when Jesus was touched, virtue came out of him. Mm. So the lady identified the law in the spirit that this man must be the true seed that was prophesied Hallelujah. in Genesis. Yes. Mm. That he shall bruise the head of the serpent. Mm. So when he, in her spirit identified this higher law, she tapped into it by faith mm. and touched the hem of his garment. Mm. The Bible says, and she was made whole. Praise the living God. Amen. There are things that you see in the scripture and they also make you to marvel. Let me give you an example. Galatians 4. Let's begin from 24. Which things are an allegory? Let's begin from 23. But he who was of the bondy woman was born after the flesh. Yes. But he who of the free woman mm. was by the promise. Mm. Okay, let's go ahead. Which things are an allegory for these are the two covenants. The one from Mount Sinai, which genders to bondage, which is Aga. Mm. Continue. For this Aga is Mount Sinai in Arabia. And the answer is to Jerusalem, which is now, is and is in the bondage with her children. Mm. Let's continue. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, Amen. which is the mother yes. of us oh. all. Mm. Praise the living God. Amen. Let me repeat this. Morning. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. Amen. Mm. By the time, 
There are things that happen in the spirit. Abraham impregnated his maid servant, the maid called Hagar. Mm. But now Paul is picking up a secret in the spirit. That this Aga, because Aga gave birth to Ishmael, and then Sarah gave birth to Isaac, who is the child of the promise. So he's picking up something in the spirit that this Aga is Mount Sinai in Arabia. Mm. Now, how do you link up the two? This is a woman. This lady is a woman. She came as a maid to help up some with some works. But now Paul is getting something deeper and bigger. That this is this Hagar is mountain Sinai in Arabia. There are people. So by the time Adam went to Aga. Hmm? No, 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 Abraham went to Aga. There was a certain covenant that was established. Yes. And that was the covenant of flesh. Mm. 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 And by the time he knew his wife, Sarah, and she gave birth to Isaac, mm. that was the covenant of the promise. Right. Praise the living God. Amen. Amen. So all of all these years, all of these things happened in Genesis. Mm. They happened in Genesis. Mm. Aga. Simba <laughs> You know I'm a mystic. So I love it when I see my sons doing that. There is a lot of revelation in that scripture. And in the things he's sharing. But I doubt he might get the language to share some things. You see these scriptures here? <clears throat> Do you know? It's very crucial for you to make sure you hear from God. And you know that even the husband you end up marrying. Oh, yes. Okay? Is from God. Yes. Because... There is this saying eh, where people say, even Mimunai, I gave birth. And there are people who don't give birth. Yeah. You can give birth to a child you are never designed to give birth to. It's true. Because this is what people don't understand. Eh? Authority was given to the sons of what? Of men. But giving birth to a son in your image, eh, that's a different story altogether. Yes, yes. Deep. Mm. Yeah? Mm. It's a story. All, you see, I've shared with you, Adam, eh, from all the times. Cain is never called a son a after son Adam's after image. Um, yes. Abel. Mm. Abel mm. is never called a son after what? Adam's image. Yet Abel was good. Oh, yes. Yeah? Mm. But the scripture in Genesis 6 says, and Adam, Adam gave birth to a son Seth. in his own image called yes. Seth. Yes. Now, what was different from Seth and Abel? The Bible says, Seth was indeed in the image of Abraham, Adam. He came up with the revelation. He learned how to call upon the Lord. Ka, ka, now, when he learns to call upon the Lord, he introduces prayer. Mm. We, I understand that was the missing link. That's why Abel was killed. Oh, yes. If Abel knew how to pray, mm. Cain wouldn't kill him mm. because God would protect mm. Abel. Mm. You understand? Yes. But Abel never knew how to pray. And just because they didn't have the full Bible like we have it now, it doesn't, ignorance eh, does not save you. Oh, yes. For my people perish for lack of what? Knowledge. Knowledge. Now, this is so deep. So I, deep. I, I like so what you say. So You're deep. saying it by the spirit. But you see, I know where my sons are sometimes. I know there are things they can't bring you. There is something the Lord told me. And I was having issues stomaching it and even sharing it. Eh? But when you shared that scripture, <laughs> I said, ah. Let me share it. Eh? I think uh, the one that says is the mother of us all. Oh, yes. It's, it's, eh? mm. Go back to that. 
26. Yes. But Jerusalem, which is above, is mm. free, which is the mother of mm. us mm. all. Yes. Yeah? Mm. Have you read the scripture which says, deal with your wives in wisdom? In wisdom, yes. Okay? Because mm. if you don't... Because if you don't, your prayers your can be... be answered. Hindered? Hindered, yes. Hindered, yes. Yeah? Mm. Not answered, hindered. Wives mm. and women, mm. or mothers, mm. there is a synonym, because it's from wives we get... Mothers. Yes. Mm. Are you following me that so far? Yes. Mm. Yeah? Mm. Do you know they tell you that the woman came out of man, mm. explaining to Eve. Mm. Eve came out of man. man. Mm. But even you, you shouldn't be messing up with women. Because mm. even you now, you come out of women. Mm. You come out of a mother. Mm. Now, something the Lord told me, it shocked me. It shocked me. I used to see people who pray for Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Of course, I know it, the scripture is there, but I had never gotten the revelation. Now, when you do research and all of that, you will understand that the Garden of Eden, okay, mm. was around that place. Position. Mm. Mm. Okay? Mm. Now, what does that mean? If that is the place where God could come and meet, whatever, that yes. means there is a giant portal. Mm. Yeah? Yes, yes. Mm. One day God told me something, and I, I couldn't... Because I thought, uh, uh, even as we have portals in Uganda, one day he told me that all the prayers that go to heaven, mm. all these angels will gather them from these portals wherever, but they go out to Jerusalem. Wow. That's the, that's the exit. That's wow. the exit where to they heaven. are received. Wow. Wow. You see? Eh? Mm. So there are certain mysteries that people do not understand. Mm. Oof. Yeah? Mm. When you study the Hebrew language, yeah? Mm. It is a language full of math True. and numbers. numbers. In mm. fact, when you add those numbers a certain way, you get nine, 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 nine. I didn't know why I was even asking nine. <laughs> so you're taking me into things that I don't want to go into because I don't want to confuse your message. But that language is from, you read it from the left. Yes, yes. Going like, backwards. Yes, yes. Yeah? Like, yes. You read it backwards. Yes, eh? yes. So English is uh, the reverse. Most of this, actually, those languages are spiritual languages. Mm -hmm. the, the Babylonians, the Hebrew, they mm -hmm. are very spiritual. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have all this math involved, and I don't want to take you into that because <laughs> But eh? it has something to do with from the rising of the sun. Mm. Yeah. So that's why they are read from the direction they are read from. Eh? So, in the Bible, there are lots of mysteries about the east wind, the, guest, yeah. the east yes. gate, yes. Yes. a lot of east, 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 eh? east mm. even the gate where Jesus used to enter in the east. temple, eh? mm. the east gate, it is closed because it is said in Jerusalem that it is only Jesus who is supposed to, what? to open. enter through that gate. Yes. No one else should enter through that gate. Right now, it is closed, eh? mm. but when he comes back oh, yes. to encounter the people, yes. it is believed that it will break forth mm. and it will be opened. Mm. You understand what, mm, what you're saying? Mm, eh? mm. So, it, it, mm. it shocked me eh? mm. that mother of us all, then I'm remembering Porto. So, can I say, or can we say that women are Portos? Yes, we yes. are. We are, totally. You see, eh? mm. they bring life onto the earth. Yes. Yeah? Mm. But women are very peculiar, even in the way they were created. Eh? If you learn how to relate with them, if you read with them a bad way, for some of you, the youth, who will love to sleep, sleep around, eh? <laughs> you can mess up your life. Yeah? If you relate to them, that's why he said by something crucial, of, uh, he started by saying, he wants you to learn to connect genuinely. Yes. Because one of the best things that God can do for you is to lead you, for some of you who are still single, eh? on who you should get married to. Amen. But some of you who are married, is to help you if there is healing that it is needed. Eh? The, it, that can also happen. Eh? Mm. Because you have also to understand that it is not true <laughs> that uh, it is only one woman made for you. True. As many people speak it. Because yes, they so wouldn't tell the divorced ladies mm. uh, to, if they're not yet 60, to get off the list and they mm. look for someone to marry. <laughs> the rib is made. Yes. Mm. The rib is made. Mm. God mm. can get someone and they, he makes that rib, even as you participate eh, mm. to be your rib. Mm. Mm. You understand? Eh? But there are certain people with specific assignments in this earth eh, mm. that you just can't marry just anybody. Yes. And you have to understand these things. So I believe that uh, makes the conversation broader. Yes. 
because for him his conversation was still small and i love big conversations <laughs> Amen. where it causes you to think yes. and you understand what we are saying but it was prophetic you know sometimes you have to understand preachers there is a time when he, a minister can minister prophetically okay but then sometimes we need to minister two or three eh, to interpret each other's vision Amen. so that we make Yes. The message clear. Eh? Clear, mm. yes. There is something I want to share with you in the things he's been sharing mm. that is very, very, very crucial. He was sharing with you, sit a, a minute, a minute, please, first sit. He was sharing something. Go back to the screen, madam. <laughs> I'm there. <laughs> first, give me Genesis uh, um, 37.5. Listen, and Joseph dreamed a dream and told it to his brethren, and they hated him yet the more. Go on. And he said unto them, Here I pray you this dream which I have dreamed. Uh -huh. For behold, we were binding sheaves in the field, and lo, my sheaf arose and also stood upright, and behold, your sheaves stood. Eh? bound round about and made obsience to my sheep. Remember I told you of the sheaves I've seen here? Mm, yes. Yeah? Mm. So this is a prophetic message eh? mm. for tonight. Eh? Oh, yes. Some of you, I believe why God released this message. Eh? You've had certain things that are maternal. Mm. Certain mm. battles, eh? but mm. they come from your mothers. Eh? Yes. Mm. Some of the battles you're fighting, eh? yes. when you look at your mother, mm. eh? they fought the same battles. Eh? Mm. So I believe the angels tonight in this place, eh? Mm. They are directly helping you and they are Hallelujah. dealing with certain things that mm. touch the womb. Amen. Okay? Mm. So that's why I'm saying before he prays, I need you to pray with understanding. Eh? Yes. Understanding what you're praying for. Yes. Okay? The sheep have gone. And his brethren say to him, Shalt thou indeed reign over us, or shalt thou indeed have dominion over us? And they hated him yet the more for his dreams. And for his words. Remember, Joseph is coming from the woman that is loved. Yes. Okay? Mm. Not Leah, but Rachel. Rachel. Mm. Who is loved. Mm. But Leah had envy towards who? Rachel. Rachel. And she was actually barren. Okay? Mm. There are certain curses and certain things that Rachel went through, even though she was the one that was loved and she was beautiful. But there are certain things, okay? That even though, okay? She was the one supposed to go first because Joseph, you know, ja this man, mm. Jacob, Jacob. Mm. loved her. Yes. Mm. But yet they duped him. Mm. You see the spirit of delay? Mm. Okay? Mm. And this thing happened to Joseph all his life. Mm. You see, eh? mm. where they sell him, those dreams are supposed to come to pass. Okay? Mm. Mm. There's a place where he even he gives a prophetic word through his dreams and they are supposed to come to pass when the mother is alive. But by the time these things came to pass, the, the mother, mother was what? Was passed. Dead. Mm. Had passed. Mm. Had passed, yeah. You understand? Mm. And some of these things would even have happened if there was not disorder in the realms of the spirit. Oh, yes. Okay? Mm. Because according to those people, the elder one is supposed to get married first. Yes. You understand? Mm. But there is some foolish guy who didn't do his job yes. called Esau. He decided to marry other whatever. If he had gone and married... Eh? where the parents wanted him to marry. Mm. He would be the husband of Leah. Mm. You understand? Oh, eh? wow. So you see, sometimes we even judge men, and you judge the man, you say he had two wives, but you don't know that he, it had to be done that way. Mm. He had hey. to marry Leah. And all that. Uh, we are seeing all these children mm. among the tribes of Israel. Yes. Mm. So you're seeing issues that are maternal in nature. You understand? Eh? Mm. And some of you, these are the entanglements you found yourself in. But this is what I want to talk to you about. Uh -huh, his dreams and his words gone. And he dreamed yet another dream and told it to his brethren and said, Behold, I have dreamed a dream more. Okay? And behold. And behold. Yes, the sun and the moon. Huh? The sun and the moon. Yes, and behold, the sun and the moon mm. and the 11 stars yes. made obeisance to me. Mm. Eh? Mm. 11 stars. Yes. Mm. Uh -huh. Go on. 
and he told it to his father and to his brethren and his father rebuked him because the father was spiritual mm. he could interpret the dream mm. like i'm interpreting my <laughs> son's message here <laughs> yes. to to bring it more clearer so that you go home understanding what the service tonight had dealt with eh? yes. specifically mm. okay listen and say down to him what is this dream that he, thou has dreamed shall i meaning he understood that he is the son yes. in the boy in the boy's dream yes and thy mother moon meaning mm. the mother is the moon yes yeah yes because you know the moon gets its light from the sun eh? mm. that's why it comes at night eh? mm. so uh, the, the moon submits to the sun yes you understand eh? mm. so the mother is the one who submits to who and the mother and thy brethren indeed come to bow down ourselves to thee okay and to the earth mm. the 11 ones the 11 ones. of course there were 11 meaning jo jo joseph, joseph was the 12th yes. give me um revelation 12 i believe quickly quickly you need to understand some of these things eh? and there appeared a great wonder in heaven a woman clothed with the sun are you seeing the same language? Yes. And the moon under her feet and upon her head. Wow. Eh? <laughs> wow. You see? Uh, yes. A crown of 12 stars. Uh-huh. Go on. You need to understand this woman. And she, she being with a child cried travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. Mm. Go on. And there appeared another wonder in heaven and behold a great red dragon, mm. what you are speaking about, eh? mm. having seven heads and ten horns mm. and seven crowns upon his head, mm. uh -huh. and his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered, for to devour her child as soon as it was born. Born. You understand? Mm. You understand this language now? You don't know who the woman is now? Remember, Jacob fought with an angel and they yes. later turned his name to Israel. Israel. So if Jacob is the son, according to the interpretation, mm. yeah, and the mother is the moon, mm. or the wife is the moon, mm. and the 11 stars plus Joseph, Joseph which makes 12, mm. yeah, that is the nation of Israel. Israel. So the woman here is Israel. That's right. You understand? Eh? Interpretation. Mm. But also, we the church... We are the spiritual Israel. Yes. Have you ever wondered why the church is related to as the woman, mm. as the bride of Christ? Yes. Yeah? Mm. So, some of you, yes, your mothers are not there to rectify certain things. Some of you, they are there, but they are not that spiritual. But that's why the Bible says never do away with gathering of the saints. Of the saints. Each time you come to this woman called the church, mm. there are certain cleansings, there are certain blessings Hallelujah. that are pronounced over Amen. you. Amen. You understand? Yes. So, as we come here, do this with understanding. Yes. Understanding that God is cleansing you. God is helping you through his bride, through his church. You understand? Mm -hmm. Through this woman. Because this dragon wanted to do havoc. Eh? When you go down, go okay in five. And she brought forth a man child. child. You was, see? The seed. Wow. Yes. One man. One the man seed. child. Eh? Yes. Who was to rule all, all the nation with a rod of iron. iron. Yeah. You know that's where Jesus comes from. Yeah. Eh? Mm -hmm. Not from Rome. Roman mm -hmm. Catholic, I don't know what got into their head. <laughs> <laughs> eh? <laughs> With a rod of iron. And her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. Wow. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, I believe there are certain things that God is dealing with eh? mm -hmm. in your lives. But as you deal with them, I'm telling you, some of these mysteries, when Jesus says, I've not come to bring peace, but a sword. Oh, yes. Sometimes for a season, God needs to separate you from your mother. True. If you're to win in True. certain things. True. Or from your father. True. And you be there, yes, you say hello, I honor you. But there are certain things you have drawn mm. that you may connect to this spiritual. Okay? So, let me take it on from here. Thank you. Thank you. Come. Is the Lord. Woo. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, Lord. You. I've given Thank him you, little time, Amen. but uh, we'll continue. <laughs> uh, 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 did you enjoy him? Yes. Amen. <laughs> Clap, for him. Amen. Clap for him. Clap for him. Clap for him. Clap for him. Celebrate the grace of God.
Amen. Amen. These are giants. These Amen. are giants. Amen. And you are all giants. Hallelujah. God is raising you up for such a time as this. And he's going to be doing mighty, mighty things. Amen. So I want us to get Holy Communion given give out. Because some of these things, we deal with them with Holy Communion. When we do Holy Communion, notice and even notice the wordings that are used in prayer. Okay? Jesus literally, literally did the exchanges. Okay? When he came here on earth. A lot of exchanges. Eh? So sometimes, if you are to deal with certain things, you have to deal with genes. You understand? That's why the Bible says the sons of this generation from genes yeah, are wiser than the children of light. Eh? If there is a work that the Lord is doing mightily in this time, eh, is to deal with your DNA. Most of the things and the things that cause even that establish the laws of attraction, what is attracted to you and what is not, eh? they are generational in a way. Some things are taken out mm. of your genes. Okay? Mm. If you did a little science, eh, you'll understand. Have you heard of recessive genes and dominant genes? At mm. least in the little biology, eh? mm. even S4. Yeah? Yes. Mm. Now, for some of us who did some higher science, eh, mm. we know that recessive genes, all recessive genes on earth, are mutations. Mm. Yeah? Mm. That's why you hear stories of people who have really encountered heaven, that I met my short uncle in heaven, but they were taller. Yeah? I'm telling you, there is no shortness in heaven. <laughs> Amen. But I'm not abusing you. I'm loving you. <laughs> if you're short and you want an increase in height, it's possible. You know, these days, I need to create a service where it is measuring on just that. Eh? Amen. Because sometimes when we overjoy in a lot of things, eh? it's not very good. Eh? But I'm telling you, there are lots of things that the Lord wants to deal with. Eh? And what we call heaven on earth, eh? most of these things, eh? you won't first wait to go to heaven eh? to get them. Okay? Of course, he told you that the way uh, uh, God, God, can, God deals with you, the way you deal with what? With the earth. You remember that? The way you deal with, or the way the, the woman, a woman deals with you, okay, is the way God will deal with you. Okay, I want also to a bit take that a notch higher. Eh? Not every woman. Eh? Some women are unreasonable. <laughs> I mean, if you had a mother and they wanted to abort you and somehow you survived, or they, want, they left you, eh? that's being unreasonable. So God will not pin that on you, okay? But there is a higher woman. That is the church. From all history, there are many leaders, great leaders who have fallen, eh? based on how they dealt with the church. You remember that Herod that wrote, he had killed James, they had left him. When he touched Peter, eh? they started to pray and pray. The guy started to wrote, yeah? The way you deal with Christians, yeah? So the way you deal with the church, that's why we tell you some of these things, yeah? Even the government knows this. The government is not joking around with tithe that come to the church. It knows it. If a nation is to prosper, you, you're busy. You, you are one man. You're not even a government. <laughs> you're eating your time. <laughs> eh? You're eating your different things. Don't joke with these things that this gentleman has been talking about. Seed. There is a reason why God created the seed. Eh? That it is not tasteless. It is sour. Eh? The fruit. He told you there is a difference between seed and fruit. The fruit eh, of an orange eh, is sweeter than the seed. Why? God could not trust you with seed. Eh? So he had to create a system within seed eh, that enables seed to be planted. You understand? Eh? You can't be there and you love a sperm and you but a baby you like. Eh? We all love fruit. Eh? So please eh, understand these things when God is telling with you. Deal with your seed. Okay? Many of you are asking for things that you have no capacity for. Okay? God will never give you anything, listen to this, eh? that you've prayed for, but you don't have capacity for. Do you understand eh? what I'm saying? Eh? God will not give you a plan. Uh, you don't know anything about maintenance of the plan. You don't have a hunger. You, don't have, you understand what I'm saying? Eh? So when, when God is telling you to do some of these simple things, being consistent, for example, eh? he's teaching you to have capacity. The things of God need consistency. Yeah? Marriage needs consistency. Yeah? All the things that matter, they need consistency. You understand? Eh? So God is building capacity within you. Capacity, capacity. Some of you are asking for many things. 
There are people who will ask for marriage until the cows will come home, but they won't get it. Why? The capacity. Huh? You abuse every man that is around you, but you want to, uh, you understand? Don't do that. Eh? Don't do that. Build capacity. Build capacity. So as we pray, as we partake of this, listen to the words that I'm praying with you eh? and hold them in your heart and understand that these are spiritual things. Okay? Everybody has their Holy Communion, communion element? All right. So Father, as we come before you, we connect to you. We connect to the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Jesus, we connect and we ask you that as we are before you, even in the presence of the Holy Spirit, let these elements lose their naturalness. Let this indeed be transfigured into your body and into your blood. And as we pray, Father, with and without our knowledge, we've suffered bullying, we've suffered shame, we've suffered pitfalls because of maternal influences, because of certain women we've met in our lives that we are shrewder than us, that we are more cunning than us. We have suffered certain things. But as we partake of the blood and of the body, Uganda hear our voice. Africa hear our voice. Asia hear our voice. Europe hear our voice. America hear our voice. South America and North America hear our voice. India hear our voice. All you planet hear our voice. Hear our voice and hear us loudly and clear. Because we don't speak to you in our might, but we speak to you in the Holy Spirit and in power. Give us what belongs to us, what is due to us. Jesus, let us be a testimony of what you truly died for us to receive. Please help us to be a testimony of what you died for us to receive. Even though you are rich, yet for our sake, you became poor, that we, through your poverty, might be made rich. Father, we connect to your wealth, we connect to your health, to your divine health, as we partake of the body, we decree that we have connected to the womb of the Holy Spirit. For even you, the Holy Spirit, hovered over Mary and you are birthed. Jesus, Holy Spirit, mother us, take us on, brood over us, let curses, let generational curses be washed, be flooded out of our systems. Let us be able to enter dimensions that can only be opened up by you. Oh Lord, help us. Help us. Someone had a heart issue, a heart condition that the Lord is taking away as we partake of this Holy Communion. You will check it and you realize this thing went and it never came back. The Lord has just dealt with that. The heart issue, the palpitations and everything will never come back. The Lord has dealt with it before even we partake of this body and we partake of the blood. Jesus, we thank you that you are helping your children. And I thank you, Lord, mighty Jesus, that even as you are fathering these that are before you, oh God, they are are dimensions and responses from the physical world that are going to start to respond to them that we are not responding and they shall know that oh God you are doing a work of Christ in them I ask you Christ in them to come on top and take over them as we partake of the body partake of the body now
We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. Partake of the blood. Now, some of you, of course. My issue with you, you have a lot of men of God that speak in your life. That's even sometimes when results come in your lives, you can't even track it from about which man of God, about who prayed which prayer. But I pray for you that you be able to track these results because some of the things I'm doing, I don't want to, them to just remain here. I want them to also carry on even as your home. This here is greater than any drug. If you partake of it in understanding, you'll never fall sick. You'll walk around and your children, they, they, you don't have worries of sickness. I'm telling you, you have to learn these things. When I'm doing them, I'm teaching you as a father that you may go home and you carry on these things. Okay? Yes, they are not to stay here. Okay? And this is why you should love revelations and mysteries. We are doing awesome, awesome things. Some of you who didn't get the prayer, who didn't come here to pray last time, awesome stuff. The prayer that is on YouTube, so far we have repeated it three times. Me, myself, I pray for myself. It is on YouTube. We have some of the best videos. We make sure when we are doing it and putting things on YouTube, they are awesome. Yeah? Watch them. Repeat them. Some of the things we say are so deep for you to get it in one sitting. Okay? You're sure you're too wise. Yeah? Got it. Get the offering. Come, my wife. Got it. Pain, go. Check yourself. Hmm? Still there. Hey. What? I've prayed. Uh huh. I've prayed. Uh huh. Check yourself. It is gone. Are you sure? Hey, I testify. No, guys, I had too much pain. I was standing there and I, had, I actually had too much pain. We stood here for so long worshipping. I came here and I still had the pain. Why, that, did someone see me touch my back like this? But then I told him to pray for me. He's like, choke up my wife. And it is good. No, it's good. Eh? You know when you're getting these testimonies from your wife, eh? it means you're truly anointed. Eh? You, know, you know how it is not easy to pray for... <laughs> It's not easy. But when she sees things, eh? at the time we went in the hospital and we had the baby and they were saying over, oh, what are these things? Growth? Cysts? What are they called? Cysts. They were like fibroids, eh? so you could see them. So I told the man, ah, keep the microscope on. I want you to see them disappear as I pray for them. And they disappeared, right? Pew. Uh -huh. What is this? <laughs> yeah, we love that. So here, I have a strong healing and miraculous anointing. Saga mu manize prophetic yoka. Uvango ina yomulwa de abalwa debe mitwa abali name is munde tereko. I need you to see these things. Njaga faith ya mwebedechi. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We worship you alone. You are worthy to be prayed. What the Spirit of the Lord has been ministering to me. I saw you being taken out of shoes and being given another pair of shoes. And God told me that he, he is getting you out of the pattern of your mother. And this will be a sign to you. A job or a good one will be given to you after this service. There is an, a door of a particular opportunity of a job that is coming your way in this season. I don't know, you know, do you know any career? 
who is that one? <laughs> She's a daughter to my sister. She's a daughter to your sister. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Touch, touch your feet and I pray for you. Thank you, Father. You have taken out her feet from the pattern of her mother. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There are miracles happening. Come, come. There is no one else like you. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else. The person you whatever I see a T on you. T. What does it stand for? I have a, I can call it a stage name. Yes. I'm um, called Vanti and I do gospel music. Okay. And there is also my father. His name starts with T. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I see a T on you. Hey, I'll talk to you. But you, sir? Yes. I see an event happening in the spirit. And you are called... I see a board of people around 14 who are seated and you are teaching them something. I don't understand what is it clearly, but I see you teaching. This is a responsibility that is going to be given to you. Mm. It will be more of a promotion because I see these people, you're going to be like their leader. Mm. In this, thank you, Holy Spirit. Karoshi Bahato Survey. Mm. Wait, get his number. Huh? Give him a 50,000. Do it quickly. How soon can you do it? Uh, even after service. Even after service. Yeah. Uh, then you don't need this number. Do it quickly. There is something that is opening up for you. Thank yeah. You. Um, man of God, I think Apostle uh, and uh, as well Apostle Cyrus have talked about the promotion. Hey, yes, 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 yes. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. I was calling out a gentleman, come please. Yes. See. There is someone here, I don't know who, <laughs> but I saw two cows at the beginning of the service. Anyone? Someone is going to get, no, 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 not anyone. Someone someone is going to get a blessing Amen. of two cows. I receive. They have milk. In the, I'm telling you, it's a blank <laughs> check. Because I didn't see the button, but I saw the cows crying somewhere. Amen. Someone is going to be given cows. In the, with I'm milk. telling you. I'm telling you, cows. Uh-huh. You T. say it? T. Stage name. What do you mean stage name? Olimu Yimbi? Yeah. Wow. You, you've, you've forgotten him. Okay. Mm. He came. You've mm. come here before? Mm. Yes. Spirit TV, the artist. You've ever prophesied to him? Hey. Mm. The one I was asking about something to do with movies. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Media. Okay. Okay. Muanguzi. I have a cousin called Muanguzi. But I see that name playing. Yeah, I have a, a name that was given to me by my family. Yes. But uh, when I, I used to feel like a, re, a repelling force whenever they were calling me that name. Mm. Yes. So I inquired from the Holy Spirit, yes. what name would you want me to be called? Yes. And he told me Mwanguzi. Oh. oh, powerful. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. Because, um, Professor. you know Nantongo? The Kalito boy is called Muang, so I just saw Muang who's playing here. Wow. So, uh, <laughs> you know, the prophetic is funny eh? how things work wow. out. Eh? So, mm. sir, you've gone through struggles. You, it's not Matano, it's Patano. Mm. Your father, eh? the struggles of your father, eh? yes. financially, eh? it's like he's tied. Eh? Yes. It's like things became so funny yes. for him. Eh? Yeah. And I pray for you. Anything that would take you in jail, mm. we cancel, cancel it in the name, in the of, the name Jesus. of Jesus. Amen. But I see him tied as if it is handcuffs. Something about his life has been so tied financially. Yes. Why, what is yes? What you are saying is true. My dad is 
I let me use the word totally like financially is not well. He's not well. He has struggled since since he was fired from night till. Ginger. Yeah, ginger. Ah, when so I'm were, calling a lot of people. Privatizing it. I'm calling a lot of people from you see this is how you know that the spirit is dealing with certain things that are seen like I am talking to him about ginger that he has no clue about right? the next person I'm calling also has something to do with ginger in his prophetic come closer come closer stand there wow I pray for this particular feet of yours eh? anything also that would have been to do with an accident eh? I cancel it in the name of Jesus. You shall retain your feet in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for you. Sir, be consistent with this fellowship if you can. Yes. For the sake of the Holy Communion. But no jalit, but you know okay, at this time but vanaria Holy Communion and you can. Yes. Because there are certain things I'm seeing and I can't deal with all of them now. Mm. Been talking relationship with, with dad with my dad. Yes. Yeah, I actually stay with him. You stay with him. Yeah. Ask him of any Vanessa in his life. Yeah. Any Vanessa in his life. But I'm praying that things that started also to happen around that time of his life mm. that they will not continue with you because one, two, three. What does three mean when it comes to your family? From my dad and my mom we are three children your three children yeah mm. yes mm. i'm looking at your family but oh. your dad has had another woman that is not your mother yeah there was a first one my mom is the second now he has the third one he has the third one yes i'm praying for you that this same thing also doesn't beat you the thing to do with women because it has already been there tying your belt and actually one of the reasons you've gone through certain also struggles eh, financially and you seem to see the rejection you're seeing okay it's because of uh, it's not like the enemy took away your will to be the one to choose the woman you need it's like the enemy chooses for you the women in your life Because you understand mm. and they come and for you, you think you've just gotten attracted to a lady but it is actually the enemy who chose the lady for you and when you actually engage with this lady you just get messed up eh? pray that this gentleman will own his mind in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray that oh Lord my Father, he'll be in sober control of his choices in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray oh God, that let there be a deliverance in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands. Everything that was in your waist in the name of Jesus, I decree in the mighty name of Jesus, that it is taken out in the name of Jesus. And I release grace in the name of Jesus. I release grace in the mighty name of Jesus. I release grace in the name of Jesus. Broken. Broken. In the mighty name of Jesus. I break everything that was tied upon you. Have you had any waist pains? Yes. Waist pains? Yes. How often? Not, not so often, but sometimes I feel... They are seasonal? Yes. Because what I am seeing is like a belt tied. But we cut it off in the name of Jesus. We pray. Ruth. Ruth. Who is that? Ruth was a, a wife to a certain devil worshiper that I, I met and he was counterfeiting as a pastor. Wow. Now she's dead. Now she's yes. Passed. Pray, stretch forth your hands. In the name of Jesus, whatever was cast upon me, wherever your destiny was taken and sold, oh God of heaven, we retrieve this destiny and this star. In the name of Jesus, you shall shine again. In the name of Jesus. Kali, guys, prophesy quickly and... We call it whatever. We bless you, but be consistent. Huh? Some Amen. of the things I've seen, I can't give them all to you. I'll bombard you for nothing. Amen. Yes. Um, 
the lady behind is it Bridget? Yes, come. Karabado shasata. Eh, shasata la bakaya. Stand there. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Ah, shasata la ba. Ah, thank you, Holy Ghost. Bridget, do you know any Rachel? Yes, I do. Is she married? One is, one is a daughter, stepdaughter to my sister. One is what? A stepdaughter to my sister. A stepdaughter to your sister? Uh-huh. Then another lady, like, church. Church, but is she married? No. No. Karabado shasataram. I'm just going to deliver what I, I am hearing yeah, from the Lord, okay? Uh, have you ever found yourself aware of a relationship, okay? That it was like a friend of yours, okay? She was in a relationship, and then she didn't get married, but the guy married someone else. Yeah. Hmm? Yes. I can't hear you. Hmm? Yes. Yes. You knew a friend of yours who was in a relationship, but the guy ended up marrying someone else, right? I hear the Lord tell me, this is what the Lord was telling me. As I see you right now, you're single, okay? And um, the Lord wants to prevent something, okay? You understand? Uh, before, beforehand, okay? And we are going to do that together, amen? So, um, we are going to cancel any rejection, okay? That could come upon you, okay? Whereby, because I'm saying this because the Spirit of the Lord is taking me back to the message that we are at. Eh? Yeah, when Apostle shared Rachel and Leah and whatnot, eh? So I'm picking it from there, okay? So I don't see you as one who has been in many relationships, okay? But the Lord wants to save you from rejection when it comes to marriage, okay? Uh, because um, the other thing the Lord wants to save you from is delay. I remember when the Lord told me that, I remembered your testimony the one you gave lately, okay? And you told us that your parents married later, as in officially getting married. After how many years in courtship? Because now we can't call that marriage. More than 40 years. More, more than 40 years, right? Here, guys, you hear that? Yes. Now, we want to deal with the spirit of delay and the spirit of rejection, okay? Um... Because I want also you to know that uh, what you're doing to yourself is good. You are keeping yourself holy. You're living a, a life of holiness. And the Lord loves that, okay? I want you to know that, okay? And because of that, he wants you prepared. Not for any shigai to come, you know, and then dismantle you and all that. You get it? So, Father, in the name of Jesus... We pray for Bridget right now in the name of Jesus. Let her feet be ordered by you, Heavenly Father, for it is you that leads the feet of the righteous in the mighty name of Jesus. We speak a wall of fire upon our Heavenly Father that no evil and no evil spirit shall come nigh her dwelling, especially to come and attack that that you have promised her, Heavenly Father, that concerns marriage in Jesus' name. Do you know any Raymond? is familiar but I cannot you cannot but whatever it's okay just give me a hug mm. acceptance has come in the amen. name of Jesus amen. you shall amen. be accepted amen. by the right person amen. in the name amen. of Jesus amen. Amen. amen bless you amen um, yeah. prophesy quickly if you have a testimony don't go away with our testimony come and give us our testimony here after here um, is there anybody who called Harriet here. Yeah. Harriet. 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 Hey, you're Harriet. You can Amen. come. Hey, that's deep. Wow, 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 wow. Cover me in 
Your glory. Um, cause I see you holding hands with a Moses. Mm-hmm. I I don't know whether it's someone you're going to meet. This is the way you father me. I love the way you father me. This is the way you father me. I love the way you father me. This is the way you father me. I love the way you father me. This is the whatever. Go you to a moon now, quickly. Call, call someone. Oh, I love the way you father me. My altar is calling you. And uh, let's pray for Harriet. Um, something from the mother's side to be cut off in her life in Jesus' the name. name of Jesus. Mother Come here, Harriet. Lift up your hand. Harriet, are you ready for the fire to break it off? Amen. All right. In the name of Jesus, I command you to break in the name of Jesus even back that thing that was attaching itself to the old back in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and declare that you're freed from that. In the mighty name of Jesus, we decree that no foul devils, no unclean spirits shall come even in your life. I decree and I release the fire of the Holy Spirit right now. Fire! In the name of Jesus. Fire! In the mighty name of Jesus. And I decree that the power of the Holy Spirit breaks everything. Just touch a never. Touch a never for me. Touch a never for me. Breaks everything that is maternal in the mighty name of Jesus of you. And we decree the glory of the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, Quickly. I'm seeing a place Mm. and this happens to be like Masaka Mm. and I'm in a place like Nyendo. Nyendo. Is there anyone here who knows that place? Like, not knowing it, but like you know it. Bridget, come back. Mm. Professor, mm. by the, something about the prophetic, when you see one person is getting all the prophetic words, it means either sometimes they are appointments. Eh? In the spirit for In her. In the spirit for her that mm. day. Either mm. if she had missed the service. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It means sometimes you are fasting, you're praying for certain things, and God is answering uh-huh. them through different people. Amen. Yeah? Right. And that is the day. So one person can be, you understand? Eh? Mm. Yes. So we prophesy in part, we see in part. So she saw her part. There's it's, another part. Yes. Amen. Give her the mic. Uh, how are you connected to this place? That's where I grew up from. Okay. Because wow. mystery, go deeper. This is what I'm seeing. eh? Yes. After seeing that, eh, Mm. I heard the Lord tell me that the Lord is blessing you, particularly because of the how faithful, because of how faithful your father has been to your mother. I don't know when when you see in your. Is that true? In what? <laughs> okay, the truth is maybe there may be scenarios that I don't know, but they have been together with my mother. I could not had issues of. Wow. Hallelujah. Wow. Faithful in marriage. Mm. Blessings, blessings gone. So I don't know when you see in your uncles on the paternal side, is there anyone with more than one wife? Yes. Because when the Lord spoke to me that, He told me that as a result of him being faithful, eh, 
Thank you, Holy Spirit. If you could ask him, I mean your father, he could tell you of a guy called Stefano. And I don't know whether he has ever dealt in coffee himself. I'm speaking of your father. Mm, may, maybe when I was still young, but in the family, there are people that deal with it. With coffee. That deal, yes. That deal with coffee. Mystery. Because yes, I'm Professor. seeing a blessing mm. coming from this Stephen, mm. coming to your father. Amen. And it has something to do with the coffee mm. in it. Eh? I'm seeing the month of November. When you look in your family, does it ring a bell like anyone who came in November? It's me. It's you. It's you. It's you, eh? Yes. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Deep, deep, deep. Her birthday is in November. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Mm. Because are we yet in November? No. It's in two months. <laughs> Prophetic <I'm sorry>. confusion. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm seeing good tidings come to you Amen. in Amen. this month of Amen. November Amen. as we are entering it. Amen. Because the Lord will be reshaping certain things in your life. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. Amen. Prophet, Prophet, Amen. 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 Yes. It's so addictive. I've, I've eh? blessed you. Mm. Mugende. Mm. Next Wednesday, mulete yo muntu. Mm. Be evangelistic. We want to say, kukole evangelism. Nafe. Bako muntu go later. Go, just okay? come and sit. And also, mm. pray. Mm. Pray. Mm. Pray. Nabagaye, mm. nakuzno. Eh? Mm. Mm. Muigo muze, wovoli mutaxi tosi hika. Wati so watu wuliranji di saba. Pray. These times, eh? as you pray, as you pray. Eh? Mm. You are finding that in your fire. lives. Mm. Okay? Mm. So pray. Go back praying. Eh? If you don't pray in tongues, still so pray. So I love you. Mm. I bless you. Amen. God bless you. God Amen. increase you. Amen. I bless you. Uh, I will love you with my ears and with my obedience. I will love you my is Jesus. I will love you with my is and with my obedience. I will love you with my is Jesus.